So, how how how'd you feel today? How'd it go? All right, let's go back a little bit, right? I said some flagratory stuff that the internet has seen a lot of since the preliminary. And I'm still hot and heated about 2021. The, uh, I was just talking to our new uh, media manager back there. It says, if Team USA can't give you a quote when you get out from the village, it fails. But I think that's a whole surprise how the world changed. I don't want to be bitter with anyone. I would rather... Eat with men than kill them, I think it was the, was the old quote. And I said that I, I may not accept my spot on the Olympic team. I will. I'm going to go to the Olympics. My win condition for this is that I needed one of my buddies from the last Olympic team to make it, either Casey or Chris. They've been my brothers for a long time now. And I've been in this sport longer than anybody else at the highest levels, and the road is lonely. And you want to have your friends by your side. And when you're forced, you're forced for your friends to abandon you and they're conflicted between giving up their dreams to support you or going forth without you. That is the tear that 2021 provided me. And I don't think anybody would fault me for that. Right? We're trying to rebuild this year. We're trying to re we're going to reconsolidate. We're going to reassert a positive view for Team USA. I'm going to be a captain of my pole vault squad. I'm going to be a positive force for Team USA. I'm not going to hold I'm going to hold everybody accountable to their position and their job, bringing us back home better than we leave the States. Because that's their job, not winning medals, like everybody thinks it is. Our job is to come back home, represent well, and make sure that we put the flag on our shoulders the right way. Okay? And so that's where I'm going to leave my team. Well, Sam, what would, what, Sam, what would you tell people who say you didn't do your job, though, when, when you didn't get vaccinated last time? When I didn't get vaccinated, that's a choice that Team USA made. In 2022, I was withheld from the World Championships here in Oregon. They said I couldn't get a credential at the door if I came. That was the email. I'm not going to tell you who it was from because I love it. And the problem is that, once again, somebody else, not here in the sport, says all of a sudden you have to add something to your life that you don't know much about to be a part of this again. We have no stipulations anymore. As an athlete, I'm 100% accountable for what goes in my veins all the time, for good or for ill. I take that very seriously, but all of a sudden I'm forced to do something. I don't like being forced to do anything. I'm from the South. We like taking things slowly, we like taking our time, and we like not being forced into doing anything. And so I had to take my time. I had to not take my automatic spot at the World Championships in 2022. Who wouldn't be able to do that? No matter what position. I had a, I had a clean spot to come jump in this new stadium for the first time at a World Champions as a returning champion. Never got my chance. Missed a great competition. And that's why I love the sport competition. So that's why I've been bitter about that. I'm glad they re repealed all those vendettas. I hope people start saying sorry and start paying out whatever grievances need to be uh, paid for that sort of just travesty of uh, policy making. But otherwise, we want to be healthy and vault ourselves into an awesome future. What did you change your mind outside of that? My dad. My dad is such an amazing wisdom, inspiring. He's grouchy. He's older. He Tokyo changed him, right? How can you support your son and all of a sudden he's going back to the team, same Team USA that absolutely screwed you before? How could you support your son? He's so torn that way. I love him, right? I know him almost better than anybody. We've traveled this road together. He made me what I am today. He helped me man to man. Every Olympic team I've made. He's sitting on the other end of the horn, too tired to travel because he can't sit in the stadium and just see me go for another Team USA that's probably going to screw me again. I won't let him do that. I'm too vocal. I've known too much about this sport. I've been here too long. Too many people know my face. They know I'm too good. And all of a sudden, you have to be the successor in order to be the sage in the sport to have an opinion. He changed my mind. He says, Sam, take it on your terms. I'll take it on my terms. He says, don't go. He says, don't go. Why not go? Why? Take it. You built this awesome thing back in Mississippi. I have an awesome training center. Nobody can kick me out of it. Nobody can close the doors on me. I'll bring whoever I want into it. I'll be the best hosp hospitality provider for pole vault and track and field in the world. Right? That's what I want to be. And coming back around to why do I want to be a part of this team again, I said, I see... I see some potential in the future. Now, if anything changes, and I don't like it, I'll take my ass home. I'm not on an island anymore. Do you have a competition goal at the end of the you want to achieve something, a clearance, some result? Uh, a long time ago, going to the Olympics is, there's two people caught, they go to the Olympics. People who really want a medal and people who just want the experiment. They want to get a tattoo on their arm. They want to say they're an Olympian. And that is a title worth going for. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, begrudge anybody chasing that dream. It's a bad dream if you're asking me. It's a terrible way to put your focus that I want to be an Olympian one day. There's too many ways to fail, right? There's too many ways to say that you 
that, that you, you could doubt yourself. I want to build a sport that doesn't rely on these Olympics. I said I don't like the Olympics. I think it's too far gone. Right? It's not a good. It's not a good place to point our young people. It's actually self-deprecating. If you talk to any one of these pole vaulters out here, a lot of athletes, man, they've got a lot of things they're having to fight. Why is why is a grown man crying on the track out there because he didn't make this team? Is it that heartbreaking? Yeah, 